Hi everyone, it's me and Joe. Um, well, I'm going to start this thing out today. I did some changes on uh, this. As you can tell, it's a lot more dirtier than what it was. But uh, anyways, uh, just, just some changes that I did again. On the top portion there, I changed that um, so it's better flow. Last time was that automotive exhaust pipe. So I changed that up and now it'll probably breathe a lot more better anyways. Um, I did make some charcoal right here. Um, this little bucket thing, I mean it's tin. It's basically from like those kernels or whatever for popcorn. But uh, it doesn't last too long. I gotta find a way how to make some charcoal uh, a little bit easier. Maybe I get another um, drum or something like that. Uh, I did switch this thing out. Um, basically, I had some problems. I think because inside here there was a little bit of a lip. Flash didn't have that, but I, I did, and uh, I had some issues with it, but this time it's a little bit bigger. It's a straight pipe coming through this time, so I have no idea how well it's going to work, but uh, I'll see what happens anyway. If not, I can always change this back to this again and uh, refurbish it type of deal. So, But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to start her up now and uh, keep my fingers crossed, see how it goes. All right, set that here. Start my propane torch. And we got power here. Turn my blower on. Should work fine. There we go. I'm gonna start this out on the ignition port here. And I better put my Safety glasses on, or goggles. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, safety glasses. Let's see how fast she'll start up. That is nice and bright. 
All right, let's take a look here. Look at my ignition port. Yeah, see how white? That's like, that's beautiful. So I'll give it another 10 minutes, see what happens, and I'll restart this video again. On the top, uh, I did light it up a little bit, but as you can see, it's real hot inside there already. So charcoal's working great. So uh, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Whew. All right, guys, I got the machine running, and uh, everything seems to be good. I got a flame coming out, as you can see right here. I mean, you barely could see it. It does have the Halloween orange, but it's slightly pink. Now, I want to show, I'm going to just turn the lights off here. Okay. All right, now you can see the flame even better. There it is. Okay, something to point out, it is beautiful. It has a slight pink to it. Now, what I find with my experiments is that when the flame gets a little pink, it's either, it's running very lean or you have a bridging issue. Or you just gotta shake the grate, one or the other. But you can tell, if you look really closely, sometimes, you see it kind of the flame just stops because it's and uh, and basically it wants to kind of quit now I'm gonna bring this really low so it gets kind of cooler but right now the flame is it is it's kind of like a Halloween orange but it has a pink to it now I don't know if you can see that but see how the flames kind of jumping up Eventually that's going to get kind of worse and uh, the flame is going to probably, you know, turn itself out type of thing, right? So just just to kind of look into that uh, if anyone's kind of curious, but it it is running though right now, which is good. So I might, what I might do is see, it's on the other side there, you can't really... Uh, see it it's calling me a liar right now but uh, you can see how the flame is just kind of bouncing on the top like there's gases so that's just it's telling me that yeah I gotta shake the grate or there is a, a bridging issue right now you can see that right there see see how it just kind of jumps up well eventually that's gonna yeah again it's gonna the flame is gonna put itself out so I'm gonna go back Take this, and uh, let's see what we can do. It might be a bridging thing. So, let's see if I could do this with one hand. Probably not, give me a sec. Right. Open that up. So, I am getting flames down there, which is good. Everything's fine. So, what? Uh, I'm just gonna poke it with a. It's kind of like metal skewer inside there, and watch how it just falls down into place. See that? There we go. So I had some bridging bridging issue. Now with that corrected, that flame is going to get a lot better now in a, in a second. Turn that off, or close that lid, and uh, that's open. So you can see right now that flame is just jumping up, and eventually it's going to get more. So I'm going to just boost it up a little bit. But I do have a nice flame. Let's get on the other side here. There she is. See, the flame is getting more and more orange just because I, uh, you know, I, I stopped that bridging issue. So uh, I might put some wood pellets in and uh, kind of see if 
how it goes, but for now I'm just going to warm this machine up just a little bit more. But that flame's looking really nice now, it's getting better and better. The pink is uh, starting to go away, which means it's, it's not really lean anymore, so. Anyways, probably see you, well, just make another video again here shortly with the, with the filters and whatnot, so thanks very much. Alright, it's been about a couple of minutes now. I shook the grate and now you can tell that it's a beautiful nice orange, Halloween orange flame. So it's, uh, it's doing its job, it's great. And as you look up here, the flame is constant. You don't have those, those little ripples again anymore, right? So it's just one thing I've learned. And as soon as this flame gets kind of like a pink, too much pink and the flame starts to dissipate, you either got a bri bridging issue or a clog or something's wrong. So it's just, uh, I don't know, one thing I want to share with everybody, but uh, this flame looks actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, just so you know, I like it. It looks actually good. It looks great. So the machine is uh, is working actually really good. I can actually turn that down too if I wanted to. Let's see. So right now I got it to to about five volts right now, but still looking really nice. Now again, if your gasifier if it gets too cold or there's not enough suction, by putting the uh, my variac I bring it down to about five volts, it may not be enough suction. So that's one thing I figured out too. Either the flame will start to dissipate because it's getting too cold, but. Um, for now it's looking good, maybe give it a couple of minutes, but again if you don't have much suction coming out, or too much suction, it's not good either. So you need that, you need that intermediate type of thing. So here I'm just going to turn it down just a hair more, there we go. So now it's, it's nice and warm inside there, but uh, we'll see how long this will last. But again it's a nice beautiful orange flame, right now it's about 4 volts. And uh, the the thing is with these gasifiers, with me is uh, the more the more you uh, kind of experiment with them, the more you kind of know what to look for. So again, I'm trying to. I just want to share with uh, everybody who has a gasifier out there that uh, you know sometimes when you have these inverts, you know you may get a clog, and uh, you may actually have to you know just stir it up inside there and uh, you know so you don't get that bridging either that or use smaller fuel but for now you know what this is looking uh, really good I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes and uh, see what the flame looks like but this is all about experimentation so and if we're still good um, yeah I'm gonna put it through the filters and uh, go from there alright guys so uh, I got it going through my filters right now you can see there's a little bit of mist coming out but uh, Let's see if we can light this thing up. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, look at that. That's pretty blue. A little bit on the violet side on the top, but here, let's turn off the lights. That's not bad, that's beautiful. I think it just needs to take some time to uh, go through the filters, but uh, here we go. All in all, I think that's, that's really nice. I think that's great. That looks pretty good. There's no doubt in my mind that this stuff would, uh, it's, uh, it would definitely run an engine on here. So, like I said, it probably needs to go through the filters just a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, let's see it run on an engine. All right, stick that here. Make sure I got the engine there.
Let's shut her off. Let's see the magic, man. <laughs> Turn this valve off. It just shut off the engine. Look at that. Just like magic. It just turns right off. All right. Well, I'll put this blower back on. There we go. That was cool. She runs. Oh, boy. Am I ever happy. All right this thing back on and we'll light that flare up again. Oof. Look at that flame. That's just gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's what lit up my engine. Oh, I'm pretty happy. Thank you all you guys out there that uh, put these videos up. Flash, you're awesome. Uh, it works pretty good, man. I just think, uh, yeah, just got to put some more stuff. Maybe it just got to run through the filters a little bit more, but uh, she looks great. I'm really happy. Awesome. <laughs>